What's up folks? My name's Justin Kana and this is a in between a sewed gear video. There is this trend between the kind of custom setup videos and the individual product reviews. I pick up things that don't always make their way into certain videos. And so these tend to work the best because I can just geek out with the gear heads and we can talk about some new stuff that I've copped. <laughs> In the What's in My Knife Bag 2020 video, I talked about a pair of tweezers from a company called Todai that I got at Chef's Armory, but I also got another pair and it's this one. These tweezers from uh, Chef's Armory, they're branded Chef's Armory, and they're like a really bright, uh, chrome style red and I really like them. I They jumped right out of the case at me just when I saw them at the shop and yes, there is some less than desirable chipping of the paint happening, but I picked these up nonetheless. Uh, I, I, I don't think they're anything special feature wise or how they feel from other tweezers that I have. They're just in a different shade of red that I don't personally have in the collection, so I got them. Then I just had to upstage myself because when Anna and I went to Thailand, we went to Cut Boy, a shop that I've been dying to go to for years now. We were finally in Bangkok. We made the trip to go visit them and I got this pair of tweezers, which is a different shade, it's a matte, shade of red, and on one side it's got laser engraved the logo of Cupboy, but then on the other side I made the request to have my last name engraved on these, and I think it turned out amazing. They let me choose the font, it like actually preheats and laser etches the text that you want into the blade. I do think that if you are looking at it from a certain position or if it's too far away from your eyes, the A's and the N's kind of blend into one another, but when the light catches it just right, I think it looks super clean. In addition to the matte red ones, I also went with kind of like a, a mint kind of uh, pastel colored ones. I've never seen uh, something in this colorway. And these have been holding up much better than the ones from Cupboy because I think the paint is just like higher quality. This is also kind of like a matte finish, so it's not shiny. And then I caught these bigger ones, which is also in a colorway that I don't have of anything else. These got engraved, uh, I sized up the text so it matches the larger tweezers. And this is like a sparkly car paint almost. It's got a shine to it, but it looks glossed over. Like it looks like there's a layer of paint and then a coating on top of it and the tips are also a different color, which is kind of nice. So I got my last name on all three of those tweezers, but then I saw this spoon, I was debating whether or not I get it, and I was looking at the handle and I was like, you can put hashtag the emulsion on this handle. So they, they're calling this kind of like a quenelle spoon just because of the, the way that it scoops forward, almost like an ice cream scoop. And also with the hexagonal handle, you can get that turning motion, which I'm a huge, super huge fan of. Most of you know the ones that I designed were similar to that. But just as a general consensus to the group with all these companies making their own custom tweezers and different colorways and being able to get access to spoons like this, if I could find someone who would be able to make custom merch for you folks, would you cop it? And what was the price that you would be looking for? What types of gear would you wanna see? Let me know down low in the comments. Second up, not a review that I necessarily uh, was getting paid to make. I just wanted to chat with the maker of this knife. He sent me out one of his uh, tire knives and some of you have seen it on the Sharpen and Chill video. This is the apron that comes with the knife, which I think is really awesome. This is Roland Lanier's tire knife. I'm gonna put some of the stats for this bad boy up on the screen. Starting even just off with the Saya and the unboxing experience, with the ribbon. It is a wax seal with his little monogram on it, and then that unwraps. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I think you're supposed to break this. I think. Yeah, because you can't get it out unless you do. Okay, I'm breaking it. Sorry, Roland. Destruction. Eh, okay. So now this comes off. And this is how it's pictured on the site. And then this little sheath comes off. Monogram there. I know Alex, French guy cooking, I think, has a knife from Roland. This feels weird, to be honest. Like, it's very heavy. Like, it's very... Um, and again, these are all first impressions. I will share my full thoughts once I know. Okay, maybe it's not so bad. Any slippage was like any slippage that you could expect from a normal knife is like negated here. I do get a little bit nervous about food getting in all of these little cracks and crevices here. You would have to really like make sure that you keep this knife clean. It feels great for right now, and I like the blade profile. This is a very strange sheath. It's very flimsy, but it does its job. 
It stays on. Just the sheath itself is like nothing I've ever seen before. And I think that it fits the knife super snug. Taking a look at the blade itself, it does kind of follow that similar design that we've seen with companies like Block. Uh, but it does have the custom Roland Lanier stamp on it. It is a single full tang design. The handle is made from recycled tires, which is crazy. I've never seen something like that before. And I think if you're the type of chef who is the motorcycle rider, the person who works in your cars on your day off, this is like, this couldn't speak to a better uh, audience with that. I've obviously spent some time cutting with it. I've sharpened it. It holds up great. The quality of the steel is really, really nice. I think the blade profile is perfect for a lot of people who uh, gravitate towards this size. It's overall very well made. I didn't have a ton of issues with food sticking inside of the little uh, rubber crevices, which I thought would be an issue. Is this gonna be the highest quality knife that you're probably gonna own? I don't think so. But is it gonna be something that uh, stands out in your bag or represents you or makes you feel like it's a, an extension of you when you uh, pick up this knife and use it on the day today? I think so. And last up, a new piece of gear that I got that I am only talking about here because I talked about it in my chefs organizing their ideas video. I sold my iPad that I used when I was a sous chef in Norway and I used those funds to get a 2018 12 inch iPad Pro. Currently being used right now to uh, monitor this video. I use it with the Apple keyboard folio. It's also got the Apple pencil. Yes, the new 2020 version has come out, but because the older model is an older model, but the processor and the speed at which it runs factors up head to head with the new 2020 model, I was able to get this at a great discount and it performs amazingly better than my uh, other one, my 2016 one that was still an iPad Pro, but the new 20 Hertz display, the increased size, the lack of home button and all of the different gestures. I have more space to multitask. The, it feels so much better to draw with the pencil. There's so much more to love with this device. Yes, maybe it is a little bit overkill, but my thoughts was if I can use this as a device to not only increase my productivity, but if I could learn to video edit on this thing and I wouldn't have to bring my laptop and my mouse around to edit videos when I'm uh, on certain trips, that is a huge game changer. And even if you think about going with the 11 inch size, what you can do on this device, I think as people are thinking about creating content for themselves, uh, bringing more value to an organization by opening up different business opportunities, you don't need the full editing suite with the monitor and the super maxed out PC and all of the different uh, attachments for it. You can do a lot on something that costs less than a thousand dollars. I've spent a few weeks with it. I thought it was going to get kind of clunky and a little bit too big and I wasn't going to enjoy using it, but I couldn't be happier. All right, those are the big points that I wanted to talk about. New tweezers, a uh, custom engraved spoon, tire knife, and new iPad Pro. I will give a shameless plug here to sign up for my email list, especially because uh, Apron Project slash merch slash other updates on things that I will be offering going forward. Those are the people that are gonna hear about it first. So if you wanna be a part of that community, go ahead and join there. It's 100% free and I don't spam anything ever. I hope you enjoyed geeking out with me on even more gear. Thank you so much as always for your attention. My name is Justin Kana. Stay safe out there and have a good one.